Hello there and welcome to the clinic. I am SRP and I'm going to be seeing you today. So just looking back through your previous ocular history, you lost the sight in your left eye as a teenager through a traumatic accident. Your right eye has been working very well for a number of years but you feel that the vision has rapidly deteriorated. It's fine, so I will certainly perform all the tests I can on your right eye. Are you in good health? Are you taking any medication? Are you experiencing any monocular double vision in the right eye? Excellent. Any family history of eye problems such as glaucoma, macular degeneration or cataracts? Okay, so both parents suffered with cataracts, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to be performing some tests to the best of our ability. I'm going to be making some notes on the laptop here. Okay, so as you're looking as straight as you can, I'm going to hold some fingers up. Just tell me how many fingers you see. And finally, excellent. So we've got counting fingers vision there are you aware of the light there can you see movement of the light straight as you can for me towards my face and I'm just going to check the pupil reaction in that right eye just the light you may experience some glare from the light but I'll keep it brief and so we have a direct response there and that solar right eye good pupil size here so we have a reading dim light conditions there of six millimeter six mil pupil excellent okay can you see a black spot in the center of the grid so just try and look in the dead center part of the grid. Do you see all four corners of the grid? Is there any distortion? Okay, I'm very sorry. I didn't realize it was so blurry there. Okay. As you're looking straight ahead at this test, do you see some red dots on the grid? Okay, how many red dots do you see? Okay, so you don't see eight red spots, that's fine. Okay, keep looking to where you feel the center of the spots are. Okay, any parts of the spots that are washed out, missing? very blurred okay i will make a note of that now so many people so a right direct response performed in amsler very 
very blurry. And we've just done the red dot perimetry test. Excellent. Okay. So I'm just going to have a little look with this illuminated magnifier. I just really want to focus on the external ocular surfaces. Now just try and look as straight as you can for me, please. I'm just going to come a little bit closer, just observing the lids and lashes first. Okay, now just look up to the ceiling now. Move on to the conjunctiva. Your left, looking to your right hand side. Okay, just looking down to the floor, I'm going to lift the upper lid there. Okay, just try and look straight again. I just want to see if I can illuminate the cornea. Just ensure that we don't have any corneal abnormalities there. I'm going to come a little bit closer. Okay, so the cornea does look clear. So that can't be the cause of the blurred vision now. Okay, so it's transparent. No halos. Okay. I'm just going to shine a light from your right hand side, just paying attention to the anterior chamber depth there, so just judging the depth of the angle, that's good, we just want to ensure that it's safe to dilate the right eye shortly, yeah that's fine, we'll also do the intraocular pressure to ensure it is safe to dilate as well. Just before we do any dilation of the pupil, I have some lenses here I want to use. Just to see as you're looking at my face, whether the lens makes your vision better, worse, or about the same. So I'll come close, just looking at my face. Do I appear to be clear with the lens? Or without? With? Out or about the same. Okay, so the vision is about the same, but it just magnifies your vision. Okay, so just magnifies, nothing else, no improvements. Okay. A different powered lens now. Do you feel that I look clearer with the lens or without? With? Without or about the same. It's with again. It's without. So it just minifies me. Okay. There's no visual improvement there now. Okay. Let's record those results now. So before I look inside the eye, I just want to perform the pressure test to see what kind of reading we're getting. And we're going to compare it to the previous history pressure results in the right eye. So I'm just going to have a look. So three years ago, the pressure reading in the right eye was 19. 
really mean to slip Mercury. Two years prior to that, I had a 17 mil of Mercury. Three years before that, I had a reading of 15 mil of Mercury. So it looks as though the eye pressure in that right eye has been steadily increasing. So let's have a look. We just need to pop a drop of anaesthetic in the right eye. Just tingles ever so slightly for a few seconds. Okay, now if you could look up for me, I'm just going to lower the lid. There's the dropper right at the bottom, inferior zone. Conjunct over. Okay, now if you could take a few blinks just to spread the drop around and also the yellow dye that's incorporated. Just give me one second. And I'm just going to set the machine up. I do have to rest gently against the forehead. You may see a blue light just there. So the probe there just touches the front surface of the eye. It actually touches the cornea only for a brief few seconds, minimal contact. And I will just be checking the pressure as I'm looking through the viewing portal. So just try and look dead straight into the distance. Try not to move your eye from the point you're looking at. I'm going to come in closer. There. Okay. Take a blink. And now it's against the eye. Just give me one second to determine the intraocular pressure. Excellent. Okay. Just relax. It looks as though we have a reading of 22 mil of mercury. So again, the intraocular pressure has increased. And we need to find out why that is. bottom of the visual reduction in the right eye I'm going to have to dilate the pupil with a single eye drop another eye drop called tropicamide and we'll pop one drop in again as you're looking up hopefully it takes about 20 minutes for the full effect so looking up, one drop of tropicamide in the right eye. Okay, just sit back a little bit, blink and relax. guide you to the waiting area and then I'll call you back through once the drop has dilated you. Okay, welcome back to the clinic. Now, I'm going to be coming a little bit closer with this next test. It's a handheld ocular viewing device illuminated. It's called the ophthalmoscope and I'm going to use it to try and view the crystalline lens, the optic nerve macula and the peripheral retina to determine the course of visual change. Okay. So I'll try 
try and look straight just into the distance. I'm going to come a little bit closer. Just look up. Now look left. Right. And down. Straight ahead. Okay, so we do have a significant cataract in this eye. Significant nuclear sclerosis. The crystalline lens. A definite cataract. Possibly grade 3 to 4 there. One second. Okay, I'm going to come a little bit closer, try and look beyond the cataract. Even closer. Okay, just looking over my shoulder, best you can, please. Okay, so a very blurry looking optic nerve. Do you does look pink and defined. Okay, looking left, up and left, up to the ceiling, up and right, right, down and right, straight down, down and left. Just looking into the light for me please. I'm going to try and observe the macula. Yes, so we have a, a clear view of the macula there than expected. Looks flat and defined. And pathology, abnormalities. Excellent. Okay. Just sit back while I make some now. Based on my tests and observations, it looks like you have a rapidly progressing cataract in the right eye. It's very tricky to see the layers at the back of the eye. And because you only have one functioning eye that's getting worse, I think I'm going to refer you for cataract surgery. So we need a very good consultant. It is obviously a very delicate operation. But hopefully once the surgery has been done and with success we can expect you to obtain some better vision so i'll send the referral to your local hospital for as soon as possible and we will see you again after the surgery within say two weeks so look after yourself and i'll see you in the near future